Let's solve problem 1582 special positions in a binary matrix in another way. <clears throat> given a matrix M by N size, so you'll be given a matrix which is an array inside an array, and the length and the width may not be the same. It may be that there are five rows and four columns, or three rows and five columns. It could be of any size. Uh, the only thing that is about the this special matrix is that it has numbers only ones and zeros. So, and you need to find how many special uh, positions are there, how many special ones are there. So a special one is where, so, it's a, it's a one that is placed in such a way within the matrix that the entire row doesn't have any other one or entire column doesn't have any other one like this highlighted blue one right in this first one you can see in the same column there is another one so this is not a special one this is not a special one because same column Similarly, in example two, now this three, all three ones are special ones because there's no other one in their column and row, right? So we need to find how many such special ones are there in the matrix. How are we going to figure that out? Let's solve that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each row, right? Go through each row. And while I'm going through each row, I'll check if I'm getting any ones, right? If I get the one first time, I'll keep a marker and mark it that I found the first one. And I'll keep on going forward, looking into that row. If I find another one, which is an indication that I need to quit looking in this row, none of the ones in this row are going to be special ones because there are already two ones in this row. So I go to the next row and as I'm going forward, I find the first one, I mark it and I look for the second one. If I don't find the second one, I've gone through the entire row and I've not found another one. That's an indication that I need to check the column for the one that I found. So though I'll, I'll note the column while I find the one. So I check for that column. Okay, if the sum of all the numbers in that column is equal to one, that's an indication that there is no other one, right? So that becomes my special one. But if the column has, say in this example, uh, this entire row doesn't have another one, but the column has another one. So a sum of this would result into two, which tells me that this is not special one. When I reach at this point, I'll be calculating this column sum again. To avoid that, as soon as I calculate any column sum, I'll store that in a, um, in, in a dictionary. That's called memorization to reduce the work. So let's go ahead and start with implementing it in code and see how it goes. So first calls, this is the dictionary where I'll uh, store all the sum of each column whenever I calculate I'll store it here so that I don't have to calculate it again then I'll keep a counter of count of special ones right and initialize that with zero I'll go through the all the rows of the matrix right so I'm taking the length of the matrix that will give me number of rows that, that there are in that matrix and I'll take index of each row. So it will go from zero till n uh, length minus one, right? And I'll initialize found to be false, okay? I'll, this is the marker. Whenever I find the first one, I'll mark this as true. And if I find another one, and this found is already true, which means that 
there are two ones in that row that gives me an indication that I need to skip this loop and go to the next row, right? C is equal to minus one. This will be my, uh, this is where I'll be storing the column index whenever I find a uh, one. So initially I set it to minus one, just an indication that I have not found any column. As soon as I find any one, I'll update this. So for index column in range, so now I'm going through each row, okay, and considering each cell, the index at each cell to be the column index, right, the column number. So I'm going through the each row and setting up the index to be IC, which is the column index, and then I'm checking if the value at this uh, of the cell, right, at uh, index row and index column, is it one? If it is one, then the first thing I'll do is I'll check if found is true. If found is true, which means that this is the second time I'm finding getting one in that row, right? Which gives me an indication to break out of this for loop. That will take me to the next row, right? Else, which means that found is still false. In that case, I'll update found to true first, okay? For the next uh, next couple of loops to, to look into, use this indication, right? This is the first one I have encountered, so I've set found to true. And I'm taking the index of that column and setting it to C, okay? Here, I'm updating C. Then, after the for loop, I'll put an else. This is something Python specific. For has an else block as well, which, tell, which can be used to say that when a loop in for goes without any break, right? then you can go into an else block and execute whatever is there in the else block, okay? So for each loop that com is complete of this column, right? That is the number goes from start to end. It will enter else. If it is broken in between, if it encounters a break, it will not execute this part else part so in the else i'm checking if c is greater than minus one which means that c is there, there is at least one uh that there is at least one one found in that row right so if c not in calls which i'm checking here if C is not in calls, this is my memorization. If it's not in calls, I'll calculate and store it. So calls C, call, 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 calls at key C, the value would be the sum of all the elements of that row all the elements of that column, not the row. So I'll take the uh, I will be the, I'll take the row and column, I'll pick up from here, right? Here, whatever the column I'm getting, I'll take that. So this will go through each row and take the column value, right? So if it is the first column, then it will go through each row and take the first column. Okay, and add them up and store it in this dictionary at key C, right? Next, I'll check if column uh, value at sum of all the values in that column, which is stored here, is equal to one, which means that there's only one one found in that column, right? Then I'll increment my count. This is a condition where it tells me that 
this else block it has entered else block means it has ran through the entire loop which tells me that the first condition is fulfilled that the row has only one or uh, zero or one once and this condition tells me that um, there is one once and this condition tells me that there is one once in the column as well right so all conditions are fulfilled and increment my counter then once all this loop is done it has gone through all the values it will return the count that's it let's run and see worked really well let's submit Hundred and seventeen milliseconds better than eighty five percent of solutions. Other solutions are very simple, very similar to this, although they are using internal functions. If you see, but yeah, this is one of the best solutions you can have for the problem one five eight two special positions in a binary matrix. See you in the next video.